Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this delicious, creamy, vegan Caesar dressing. Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Tammy, the creator of the blog and this YouTube channel called Nutmeg Notebook. And this is where I share with you all about a whole food, plant-based lifestyle. Today I am going to share with you a wonderful recipe for a vegan Caesar salad dressing. I think you're really gonna love this one. So if you've tried my ranch and you liked it, I know you're going to like this one as well. So let's get started. It all begins with tofu. So I like to use this shelf stable uh, tofu. You can find it in the Asian aisle at most grocery stores. Some grocery stores for some reason put it in the refrigeration section even though it is a shelf stable tofu. It is called Morinu Silken Organic Tofu and it says right on it for soups, salads, and desserts. So this is the one that you want to look for. Someone um, did, I used the same tofu for the ranch dressing and someone did tell me that they used the firm of this box shelf stable tofu and they just added more liquid to it and it worked okay. So that's an option as well. You don't have to drain it. It's very soft and liquidy because it has not been pressed. Now there is a refrigerated silken tofu. This is the 365 brand from Whole Foods. This is found in the refrigeration section. This however is 16 ounces where the shelf stable silken tofu is 12 ounces. So if you use a refrigerated one that is 16 ounces please weigh out 12 ounces of it. Otherwise, it does throw off the balance of the rest of the ingredients. It won't be as strong flavored if you use the full box. And you can just take that four ounces of extra tofu. You can put it in your blender uh, with a if smoothie ingredients. You can add it to a cream soup just to make it creamier, make some pudding with it, lots of different things that you could do. So that's an option. If you are allergic to soy or there's some reason why you don't want to use the soy, you can use a box of cannellini beans. They're very neutral in flavor, very soft and mild. Uh, you would want to rinse and drain them. This is a 13.4 ounce carton. Um, look for the no salt added if you're watching your sodium. It will come out nice. It won't be as rich and as creamy as if you're using the tofu. So my best version of it is the one I'm sharing you with you using the tofu. But there you go. So you just open it up and dump the contents of the whole container in the blender. And it has a little bit of liquid. It's okay, go ahead and use that little bit of liquid. Then we need half a cup of plant milk. You can use any kind of unsweetened plant milk that you want to use. I will tell you that when I tried soy milk in it, I thought that that with the tofu gave it too much of a soy flavor. I didn't really care for it. What I like to use is this unsweetened oat milk powder. And this, you just mix it with water to make your oat milk and it works great. And because I'm using the blender, I don't even have to pre-mix it. And I will give you a link to the Joy. It stands for just one ingredient. That's all this has in it. And it makes a wonderful low fat plant milk. So I'm just putting in one tablespoon of the oat milk powder and then half a cup of filtered water. And the next item is one tablespoon of white chia seeds. I like to use the white chia seeds when I'm making something that's light in color because it doesn't discolor it and it doesn't make a lot of black flakes. But if you only have the black chia seeds, go ahead and use them. They'll be perfectly fine. So one tablespoon. And don't worry, I will give you a link to my blog post where there will be a um, recipe there that you can easily print. And then one teaspoon of kelp granules. This is replacing the traditional anchovies in the um, standard American diet version of Caesar dressing. So it gives us that little bit of a fishy flavor. It's a rounded teaspoon. Don't level off the teaspoon when you measure it out. I like it to be just a little bit rounded. 
but not quite a teaspoon and a half because that'll make it too fishy. Now the next item up is capers and I love the briny flavor that these add. Capers can be quite high in sodium. This particular brand I purchased from Amazon and it only has 0.5 milligrams of sodium in a tablespoon. And that is the lowest that I was able to find. Now this regular uh, brand that is available in most grocery stores and Whole Foods has 630 milligrams of sodium in a tablespoon. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, in two tablespoons. So it's um, 315 milligrams in one tablespoon versus 0.5 in this one. Now this is expensive. This is about um, $15, $16 for this jar. It has 16 tablespoons in it. So if you don't want to spring for that, I totally get it. But if you want to still keep your sodium down, take a tablespoon of the regular ones that have a lot of sodium and put them in in a small container with some cold water and let them soak. I read online that you can reduce the sodium level by about 30% by doing that and that could work. But these add a really nice flavor so um, don't, don't leave them out. So I have one tablespoon and the little bit of liquid that gets in the tablespoon when I measure them out, I go ahead and add that as well. And then three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Again, I did try lemon juice and I did not like the lemon juice as well. Then I have two tablespoons of mustard and this is the um, West Bray natural no salt added mustard and that keeps the sodium down. If sodium isn't an issue for you, you can go ahead and use the Dijon mustard in it. That actually um, is my favorite way to do it, but it does add quite a bit more sodium. So this is the low sodium way to make it. And this mustard is very good. It's available in health food stores. If you have a Sprouts market, Sprouts carries it. I actually buy it by the case from Amazon and we will list a link to our Amazon uh, store for you and all of the things that are available on Amazon, you'll be able to find there. All right, then garlic. Garlic is a big player in a Caesar dressing. We want that Caesar dressing to have a really nice garlic flavor. So you're going to use between six and eight garlic cloves, and but that is also going to depend on how big they are. You can see these are just like your average little garlic cloves. So we do like it garlicky. I have eight of them in here. If your garlic cloves are really big, you'll probably need fewer. You can start small and you can add, but once you've added them, you can't take away. So, and when you um, are breaking opening, open your garlic and you can usually tell by the smell of it how strong it's going to be. And if your garlic seems like it's really strong, then cut back. And like I said, you can always add more. Then two dates. So these are the medjool dates. They're very large and soft. If you don't have a high powered blender to make this in, then you would want to pre-soak your dates, put them in a container, put some boiling water over the top to make sure that they get really soft. If you are using um, the Deglet Noor dates, uh, you probably would need three to four of them because they're considerably smaller. I weighed these and these weigh one ounce. Make sure you pit them and then if they have that little papery piece on the end of them, make sure you remove that as well. Now I also have um, a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder, half a teaspoon each of those. And although we do have that garlic in there, we're layering the flavors. And so it just helps the overall flavor of the um, dressing. And then I'm also using half a teaspoon of the Stardust. And this is a salt substitute that we buy from Well Your World. 
and Well Your World has, um, this one has a little bit of nutritional yeast in it. If you're trying to avoid nutritional yeast, they have one called Galaxy Dust that um, has no nutritional yeast in it. So I find just a half a teaspoon of these works really well, but you can use whatever salt substitute is your favorite. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add that. And then I am adding two tablespoons of the Well Your World nutritional yeast. If you don't use nutritional yeast, it's okay. You can leave it out. It'll still taste really, really good. This just adds a little bit of what we call a cheesy flavor for those of us who follow a vegan diet. And um, I really like the flavor of the Well Your World. Um, we are affiliates with them. I will provide a link to their products as well. And then just a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. And that, I don't have a measurement, that is just going to be to taste. Um, but we really like the addition of that in this. So I just want to look at my notes, make sure I added everything. We have the tofu, the oat milk, the chia seeds, the kelp, the capers, the apple cider, vinegar, mustard, garlic, dates, garlic powder, onion powder, the nutritional yeast, the stardust, and the black pepper. So we are ready to blend. Now I'm just going to turn this around. So I start low and then turn it up and I'm going to let it process for about a minute because I want to make sure those dates and those chia seeds get well incorporated. <laughs> Okay, so it's been a minute. We let it run for about a minute so that um, the dates and the chia seeds could get well um, incorporated into it. And I just want to show you what that looks like. So you can see here. Oh my goodness, If I wish you could smell this. It smells amazing. Mm, wow. Okay, it just, it reminds me so much of the Caesar dressing that um, I used to enjoy before I went plant-based. Now, this is what I like to do. I like to put it in one of these glass jars. So it makes about, oh, I can't read it on here right now. It makes about 22, 24 ounces um, right in there. And just look at this, you guys. Look at how thick and creamy this is. Um, this is just a wonderful salad dressing. Now, a traditional Caesar salad is made with romaine lettuce, but I even put this on chopped salads because the chopped salads are delicious with any dressing. And um, these long-handled spatulas are great for getting everything out of these deep blender containers. So there you go. Now, we like to take, if I'm serving this for company, like if I've made my homemade lasagna, which I have a YouTube video for, and I want to serve this, or just a wonderful soup that I've made, then I like to take romaine lettuce, maybe some baby spinach or baby kale, carrots, and tomatoes, and the little Persian cucumbers, and combine all of those, and then pour the dressing on and go ahead and mix it up myself. I just think that way everything is coated with the Caesar dressing so that every bite is just super delicious. And then I do make some croutons out of chickpeas. They're garlicky crouton, chickpea croutons that are delicious. And we will make a video for that as well. And you can just add those to the top of the salad and it's amazing. And that actually can be a whole meal, which oftentimes it is for me. I'll just take a salad and use this dressing and the chickpea croutons and that's all it needs. It's absolutely amazing. So there you go, you guys. I hope you enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching. You can find the link to the printable recipe on the blog down in the description of the YouTube video. 
And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and go over to Nutmeg Notebook and check us out there. I'm Tammy, and I help you get healthy and stay healthy, one meal at a time. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.